All right, let's get introduced to a new data type called the Boolean, and you see that here. And again, this is just a fancy programmer's term for either something is true or it is false. That's it. It's either one or zero, true or false, on or off, black and white, day and night, there's no in between. And you know how people always think that robots or machines only ever think in black and white? Well, they're not entirely wrong, because a lot of logic does come down to true and false, and there isn't a lot of give in between there. Now, we can, you know, when it comes to machine learning, we can give an answer like 0 0.6, and that leans more towards true than false, and we can work with that, but that's not the same as Boolean logic. We know that 0 0.6 is a number, and Boolean logic is true or false. So we can work with this in a few different ways, but first and foremost, let's go ahead and create a script. And in this script, let's go ahead and create a Boolean variable. So let's create a variable is cat is equal to true. And so let's just talk about my cat Zephyr. And we can say, is my cat a cat, true or false? And so we could say in a comparison operator is cat. And so we can actually do this a couple of ways. We can do is cat is equal to true, which is the more explicit way of writing it. But that's sort of unnecessary because when you do any sort of comparison operator, it's always checking to see if that statement eventually turns out to be true. And while this is already true, so we could shortcut this and just say is cat. And we can say console.log Zephyr is a cat. And let's go ahead and inspect this and open up our console. Console, console, console. Let's actually switch that to the bottom. There we go. And it says Zephyr is a cat. And if we wanted this to be false, we could just say, hey, you know what? Is cat false? Maybe, maybe I got a dog and named him Zephyr as well. And nothing's going to show up. However, because we know about the else statement, we can now say console.log is not a cat. And there we go. And now we can just toggle that. True and false. Is a cat? Is not a cat. We could even get a lot more complicated with this if we wanted to, and we could ask the user for a name. So we could say var name is equal to prompt, enter name, if name dot to lowercase is equal to, let's make that smaller, Zephyr is cat is equal to true. Let's go ahead and turn that into a var as well. Otherwise, we're going to say var is cat is equal to false. And I'm just sort of willy nilly throwing <laughs> semicolons in here. They're not necessary, but it's a good practice to be in anyways, because all JavaScript once compiled into production gets minified and squished, and it all becomes one line of JavaScript. And so it eventually puts semicolons in there anyway. So it's a good practice to have, but not always necessary. And then we could say in here, you know, actually, in real life, we would have some other logic in here based on the variable is cat. And then we could say if is cat alert, you're a cat, a kitty cat. And meow, 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 and meow, meow, meow. Alert, you're not a cat. You're not a kitty cat at all. Okay, so I refresh, and if we walk through this, it's going to ask me for the name. Enter your name. Okay, I'm going to type in Zephyr. I'm going to spell it right though, Zephyr. And it's going to take that name, lowercase it, and check to see if it matches lowercase Zephyr. So I hit OK, and it says, you're a cat. It says, goes ahead, says, yeah, OK, there's a variable in here. Is cat is equal to true. It does some logic, some other magic stuff behind the scenes. And then we've got another if statement. If it is a cat, alert, you are a cat. And so that is your base introduction into Boolean logic. Now, there's another way we can do this. Uh, we can actually shortcut the if and else. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's keep that. I, li I like that that's in there. That's making our programs a little more complicated. So we can also shortcut the if else statement. So if we just wanted to check if something was false, we could do if is cat is equal to false, alert, not a cat. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give this a default as well. So I don't have to type this over and over and over again. Zephyr, you're a cat. That's executing line 21 down here. And nothing. Because it wasn't false. 
So this didn't execute. But what if we said, Henry, my other cat. It says, you are not a cat. That executes line 23. And it's also going to execute lines 27 through 29. It says, not a cat. That's right here. Now we can also shortcut this the same way we did if is cat. We can do the opposite by saying, exclamation mark is cat. This is saying false. So let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and put these on separate lines here. Let's move that up so you can actually see it. So this is going to be false as well. So this is basically saying if cat is false. Let's type that out. If is cat is false. That's what this is saying here. You can also, if you wanted to, you could say if is cat does not equal true, it will only ever be true or false. So if this is false, then this is the false block to execute, execute. And so there are several different ways of doing this. Generally, the most common way that you're going to see this in the wild is if is cat because that's false. That's the shortest way to write if it is not a cat. And then if we head on over to our console here, we have a variable called is cat. It's false. And if we do type of is cat, we're going to see it is a Boolean. Now, one thing I skipped over that I did not mean to skip over was when you have a Boolean, well, where are we here? Var is cat is equal to true or false. We do not put it in quotations like this because that's a string. That's not the same as true or false. A string can be any, any number of characters, letters. It can mix and match spaces and special characters and all that stuff. A Boolean cannot. A Boolean can only ever be true or false. And so this is a, I think, a pretty good crash course into Boolean logic. It really doesn't get any more complicated than this. The most complicated part is when you see if statements like this. So if is cat, when you're first looking at this, if you've never seen an if statement before, you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Well, this is saying it's true. And if you ever see if exclamation mark is cat, that's the same as saying if the cat is false. So, you know, nice and simple like that. What I would like you to do, though, is, you know, just tinker around with this, get an idea of how Boolean logic works, and just create a few if-else statements using Boolean logic. You're going to see Booleans every single day. It is the fastest way to get a yes or no answer. And one more thing before we go, Boolean logic can also be represented by ones and zeros. I almost actually forgot that. That is an important one here. Let's scroll down here to make some room. We could also say var is cat is equal to one. So this is the same as true. And var is cat is equal to zero. This is false. And this works across almost every single programming language. If is cat, because this will be true. Or you could also say if is cat, and that will be false. Something along those lines, and that will totally work for you. So maybe also give that a shot. Try assigning a variable to true or false, and then try assigning the variable to one or zero, and just play around with some if-else statements.